has been voted as the Mobile Cuisine 2017 Hot Dog Vendor of the Year in North America. This morning, we've got the man behind it all right outside our studios. Kylie Burst live in the WCCO Plaza with Nate Dogs. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Jason. This is so much fun to have this cart here with us and the man himself. Nate, good morning. Good morning, Kylie. How are you? I'm doing great, especially because we're talking about hot dogs. And you know what? We kind of needed this. Like, summer's winding down. Yep. Kids are back to school. Let's hold on to that love that we have for summer food like Just this. Just a little bit. Keep holding on. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Okay, yep. so tell me about how you got started. I just wanted to have a business that was my own. I had been working for another gentleman doing yeah. kind of a, uh, uh, running a cool shop and he wanted his kids to take it over and I wanted to have something that was mine. And opening this hot dog cart was the easiest way for me to have my own business without going into a bunch of debt. Well, and you love it too. I do love it, yeah. And I love hot dogs. And, <laughs> I, and I knew that I could have a different brand with my hot dog cart. The bow tie, kind of a cool hat. Yeah. I've got on shoes that match my cart. Oh, they've got the orange on there too. It's something different than your typical like New York style or street mm -hmm. hot dog cart. And it's far more relational, far more interactive. I'm a... Uh, I have a theater degree and I'm a singer by background. So oh, I fun. create a little bit of theater around the cart. <laughs> Tell yeah. us about the food though, because that's really, I mean, the dogs are just incredible. Yes, so this is a hot dog that's made for me, uh, a natural casing skin on wiener that's made for me by Kromarchix. Uh, utilizing pork from another uh, local producer, another local butcher called Red Table Meats. I love their meat. Yep, and, yep. Then, um, and then another local farm that does all heritage breed, hormone-free pork. Uh, and so it's my spice mixture and meat blend that we worked on together with Kamarchik. So it's unique just to me. And then I make my condiments from scratch. So I do a mild honey spice mustard, a little bit hotter and grainier beer mustard that tends to rotate depending on what brewery yeah. or beer event I'm going to be at. And then I do some uh, caramelized onions. Can we pull that out so we can actually show people Absolutely. a little bit? Yeah, we Let's can. get a hot dog assembled here. Let's do this. And while you're doing that, tell us about the uh, recognition that you just got from an international magazine. It's U.S. and Canada, but still counts right. as international. So it's a website called Mobile Cuisine. And they do a national, uh, like for their fans, mm -hmm. best hot dog vendor contest. So they nominate their favorite vendors and then the top 10. You get voted on for two weeks. And then at the end, whoever is the winner is the hot dog vendor of the year. And, and you're I the winner this the winner. year. Congratulations. Yep. And I know that you have five girls, five daughters. Five daughters, yep. yep. <laughs> what do they think of the food cart? They love it. In yep. fact, uh, they like it so much that if I try to make my hot dogs at home, they don't think they taste the same. They would really? prefer to have them from the cart. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of okay. sauteed onion here. This is just onions cooked down in about a pound of butter. Ooh, you and know it's going to be good then. This is a little bit of my spicy chili pepper relish. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to move yep. this yep. right here so we can actually yep. see what's happening. Look at that. That is delicious. All right, and then this is my signature. Where'd you just pull that out? You got like a honey? belt with mustard on I've it? I've got a tool belt over <laughs> here. There's all of a sudden yep. bottles of mustard flying everywhere. And then this is the beer mustard on Ooh. this half. Oh, that looks so good. Nate, that is amazing. Okay, where can people find you? Uh, they can find me actually tonight. There's going to be this cool event over in Rice Park in St. Paul called the Cannonball Run. And Very I, fun. I think it's something insane like... Millions of dollars of cars will be there tonight. At wow. this event. And that runs, I believe, from five to nine, I believe, five or six to nine. Okay. And you'll uh, be there. And I'll be there. Perfect. And then next Saturday is Autumn Brew Review. It's a big fall beer fest over at the grounds behind the Grain Belt Bottling House. Awesome. And I'll be there singing hot dogs as well. <laughs> I love it. Nate, thank you so much for getting up early with us, for bringing your dogs and sharing your positivity this morning. You're so fun to have here. Jason, Kim, I mean, this is great. And no ketchup anywhere no. on this cart, which no I ketchup. love it. I'm anti-ketchup. I'm out. Ketchup's for kids. I can, I can overlook the ketchup as long as there's beer mustard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like Did that makes that? everything it okay. It looks so good. Make it with local brews, too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Nate's awesome. Thanks, Kylie, for bringing it. It has been voted as a Mobile Cuisine 2017 Hot Dog Vendor of the Year in North America. It's pretty, pretty good. good title. Yeah, absolutely. We've got the guy behind Nate Dogs here at the WCCO Plaza. Kylie is live outside with Nate. Such a nice guy. So good to see him getting this attention, Kylie. Yeah, especially because the dogs are so delicious. And we're so happy to have Nate with us here this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Kylie Knight. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's so great to have you here. I love the bow tie. Thank you. Your flair is yep. deaf. It's noticeable as soon as you walk up to your cart. What makes your cart different? First off, we serve a really great hot dog. Yes. Um, a great skin on, snappy hot dog that's made just for me locally by Kamarchik's. Mm -hmm. 
But secondly, I think the best part about coming up to my cart is you get to see a nice bow tie, a cool <laughs> hat. My shoes even match the orange and white of the cart. I wanted this to be something where it was far more special and I guess you could say put together and branded than a typical food truck mm -hmm. or what you'd see a chef in the kitchen wearing. Yeah. It might look nice, but it's going to be basic white, you know, maybe an apron. I wanted to have something that was a little bit more special. So I thought I like wearing ties. Not any hotter if I'm outside in a bow tie than in a t-shirt. So. <laughs> it works out. And not only are you attracted to kind of the color and, of course, the food, but I think you and your positivity and kind of the vibes that you give off is a big reason. Do you just, do you love it? Because you seem like this is just your passion. It is. And that's what I like about this cart is the hot dogs are great. Yeah. But that's not why people come back to the cart. Yeah. People come back to the cart because I try to do as good a job as I can at remembering first names. Mm -hmm. I hug just about everybody, whether <laughs> sometimes they want me to or not. Um, and I want the experience of coming to the cart to be the, the thing that's the most special. Because anybody can serve up a good hot dog, anybody can serve up a great meal, but it's that something extra that leaves yeah. them going, Oh, that was really cool. I felt like he actually paid attention to me. And you definitely have that. But let's talk about the dog. Can we yes. assemble one? Would yes, that be okay? Because I already had one for breakfast. Full disclosure, ate one this morning. Delicious. You make this in such a unique way. I was saying it almost has a brat-like taste to it. It does, yep. So it's, it's very similar to a smoked brat, just with a couple of other spices added to it. Um, I wanted it to have a really clean, mm -hmm. simple flavor so that you really taste that high quality local pork. Okay, what do we have here? So this is, we've got some sauteed onions. Oh, wow. So these are cooked down in some nice high fat butter. Oh, then you know it's good, just right? cooked in butter. And then this is a spicy chili relish. Okay, how spicy? That I serve. It's about medium hot. Okay, that's so not too not bad. it's not gonna blow your hair back, but it's enough to know that it's there. Awesome. And then I do two mustards. This is my honey spiced mustard. That's the real mild, sort yep. of everyday mustard. Okay, we gotta talk about your belt that these are coming out of. this is my beer mustard. <laughs> the beer mustard. Do you just have a mustard belt right here? I do have a mustard tool <laughs> belt. That's fantastic. Well, this looks so good. I might be having dog number two for breakfast this morning. Let's talk about this honor, your 2017 Hot Dog Vendor of the Year for both North, all of North America. So it's the U.S. and Canada. U.S. and Canada, yeah. It's, and the best part is it's fan voted. So they nominate into a website called Mobile Cuisine, and they take the top 10 nominations, and then for two weeks you can vote. And I ended up with the most votes this year. Congratulations. Thank is you. that fun to get that kind of recognition? It is fun to get that recognition. Not not that you have to have it to feel successful, mm -hmm. but it's fun when somebody looks at your website or they come to your cart and they're like, hot dog vendor of the year. It gives you some credibility that for some might not, you know, might not otherwise notice you. Awesome. Okay, where can people find you? Uh, they can find me tonight at Rice Park in St. Paul for the Cannonball Run event. Fun. There are gonna be a bunch of really cool uh tricked out cars, um, some really, really neat cars. And then a week from Saturday on the 16th, I'll be at Autumn Brew Review at the Grain Belt uh, Bottling House Yards behind awesome. the old facility. Should be a lot of fun. You Lots have to come, fun. come out, try a dog, talk to Nate. Nate, thank you so much for getting up early with us. They're so good. They're unlike any hot dog that I've ever had, guys. They are fantastic. Thanks, Kylie. Kim?